presenting a list sidechain project created for hack on list 2. Presenting Doom on Lisk, a Lisk hackathon project by Superfly and Ultrafresh. Uh, due to limitations to the project, we weren't able to get the sound to work. So, we're going to give you the iconic music here for the demo. Alright, and that concludes the demo of Doom on Lisk. Hope you enjoyed that. So for a little bit of our motivation on the project, number one, and most importantly, was to have fun. Um, obviously, we wouldn't be here if uh, this wasn't about GameFi, and of course gaming is about having fun. Uh, some said we couldn't do it. Some of our friends, uh, you know, they said we couldn't put Doom on Lisk, so... Obviously, we had to put Doom on Lisk. Uh, number three, we wanted to create something unique to test the capabilities of the Lisk SDK. Um, you know, we wanted to try out something new and try and discover a few things with this project. Uh, number four, we wanted to gain valuable experience to continue future development. Uh, we have lots of plans to develop more interesting projects, so we wanted to, to learn a few things as we go. And of course, number five, we wanted to focus on potentially disruptive innovation, since this is blockchain technology after all. Why Doom on Lisk? We had a large selection of games to choose from, but decided on Doom because we love Doom. It's nostalgic and still fun with a strong cult following and an active speedrun community. Uh, people are still setting speedruns for it, and even just maybe a year ago, they were still placed in world records for for the game. Uh, Doom is on everything. It's an internet meme and phenomena that if you can, you must run Doom on it. And Lisk is no exception. And of course, John Carmack, the creator of Doom, who is the CTO of the Oculus VR, was recently in the news due to his public criticisms of Facebook's new metaverse. So Doom still seemed just relevant enough to work with. And of course, Doom on List demonstrated four key features. It demonstrated cloud gaming. The game is hosted on a, remo a remote server, and we were accessing it through our browser. Uh, it demonstrated decentralized streaming. You were able to view live gameplay from another browser, so you could have multiple users uh, viewing one player streaming. And then even more than that, we were able to show unique multiplayer functionality. So not only were other users able to observe the game being played, they were also able to interact with it and game simultaneously. Uh, games such as Twitch Plays, Pokemon, um, and some other things similar to that come to mind. Uh, and of course, four verifiable achievements. Currently, a lot of the speedrunning community revolves around submitting your speedruns to judges, but because the code runs safely inside of a module and it can be observed by the judges live, uh, it makes 
verifying achievements much more secure. And here we have Superfly to give you how it was done. Hello. So this was done uh, by implementing a library called JS DOS, which allows us to run DOSBox in the browser, which is an emulator that can run old DOS games. Uh, why is this important? Well, because DOSBox is an NPM package, as well as the emulators that you can download and import directly into a LISC module, which is what we used here. In combination with the LISC WebSocket API, it allowed us to output frames and input commands while keeping the user completely separated from the game's code. So what did we really show here? Well, multiple users were able to connect to a node running the LISC SDK and using a LISC custom module called the Doom on LISC module. This kind of proves that decentralized cloud gaming and cloud arcades are entirely possible on LISC. One thing that we would like to see in the future is non-blockchain lifecycle events to improve video and audio streaming capabilities. One of the reasons we weren't able to have audio in our demo is because there was no way for us to send that streaming data out from the module, or at least that we could figure out. And lastly, we'd like to see something like this, but done with more verifiable achievements like NFTs, so they could be displayed in the metaverse on say like a speed run leaderboard. Thank you for watching. And we'll leave a link for a live demo so if the judges wish they can play Doom on list for themselves. Thanks for watching.